What time is it? Hey, do you know what time it is? Sure, let me check my watch. It's 2.30 p.m. Thanks. I have a meeting at 3 o'clock p.m. and I want to make sure I'm not running late. You're welcome. You should have plenty of time to prepare then. Yeah, I just need to wrap up a few things before the meeting. Speaking of time, have you noticed how fast this week has gone by? Absolutely. It feels like it just started. Time really flies. It does. Well, if you ever need to check the time again, feel free to ask. Thanks, I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too, good luck with your meeting. That's too bad. Did you hear that the company's holiday party got cancelled? Yeah, I just found out. That's too bad. I was looking forward to it. It's always a great opportunity to unwind and socialize. I know what you mean. It's disappointing, especially after a long year of hard work. Exactly. It feels like we're missing out on a chance to celebrate our achievements. Hopefully. They'll reschedule it for another time. Yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. In the meantime, we'll have to find another way to celebrate the holidays. Agreed. Maybe we can organize a smaller gathering with our team. That's a good idea. It'll still be nice to spend some time together outside of work. Definitely. We'll make the best of the situation. Absolutely. Well, let's stay positive and make the most of the holiday season regardless. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for the positive attitude. No problem. We'll get through this together. See you later. Well, I've got to run to my next appointment. See you later. See you later. Have a productive day. Thanks. I'll try my best. By the way, did you hear about the new project coming up? Yes, I did. It sounds like it's going to be quite challenging, but also exciting. Absolutely. I think our team will do great. Anyway, I'll catch up with you later to discuss it further. Sounds like a plan. Looking forward to it. See you later. See you later. Take care. I'm sorry. I accidentally spilled coffee on your laptop. I'm so sorry. Oh no, really? That's not good at all. Yeah, I was reaching for my phone and I knocked the cup over. I'm really sorry about this. It's all right, accidents happen. Is the laptop okay? I'm not sure yet. I quickly wiped it down, but it might be best to let it dry for a while. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate your honesty.
Of course. I feel terrible about it. Well, let's hope it's not too damaged. Just be more careful next time. Absolutely. I'll make sure to be more cautious. Thanks. I appreciate that. Can you help me? Hey, can you help me with something? Sure. What do you need help with? I'm having trouble understanding this spreadsheet. Can you take a look and explain it to me? Of course. I'd be happy to help. Let's go over it together. Thanks. I just couldn't figure it out on my own. No problem. Sometimes these things can be tricky. So, this column here represents the sales data. And... Oh, I see it now. Thanks for breaking it down. I appreciate your assistance. You're welcome. Don't hesitate to ask if you have more questions in the future. I will. You're a lifesaver. Thanks again. Anytime. Glad I could assist. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Not bad. Just another busy day at work. How about you? I hear you. I've been swamped too, but I can't complain. Keeps me on my toes. That's the spirit. Any exciting plans for the weekend? Not really. Just some household chores and maybe catching up on some reading. How about you? I'm thinking of going hiking if the weather holds up. It's been a while since I've had some outdoor time. Sounds like a great way to unwind. Enjoy it. Thanks, will do. By the way, have you tried that new restaurant downtown? Not yet, but I've heard good things about it. Maybe we should check it out together sometime. That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Bring down, reduce or lower something, often prices or expectations. Have you seen the latest report on our sales figures? Yeah, not great news. We need to bring down our expenses to offset the revenue dip. Agreed. The management is considering various strategies to bring down costs without affecting productivity. Have they mentioned any specific areas they're targeting to bring down expenses? They're looking at operational efficiency and evaluating if there are any unnecessary expenditures. The goal is to bring down our overall operating costs. It's a tough situation. Do you think they might bring down the workforce to cut costs? That's a possibility. They're currently assessing the staffing needs in each department and might bring down the number of employees in areas where there's redundancy. I hope they find a balance and don't bring down morale too much. People are already feeling the pressure. Absolutely. The focus is not just on cutting costs but on finding sustainable solutions that won't bring down employee morale or compromise the quality of our products and services. Let's hope the measures they take can bring down expenses without negatively impacting the overall well-being of the company. It's a walk on the wild side.
heard you went hiking in the wilderness last weekend. How was it? Oh, it was quite an adventure. It's a walk on the wild side for sure. That sounds exciting. Any memorable experiences? Well, we encountered some unexpected wildlife. Saw a bear from a safe distance. That must have been both thrilling and nerve-wracking. Exactly. We were well prepared, though. Brought bear spray just in case. Smart move. How about the scenery? Stunning. The untouched landscapes and rugged terrain were breathtaking. It sounds like a trip to remember. Definitely. It's a walk on the wild side, but I'd do it again in a heartbeat. I might join you next time. It sounds like an incredible experience. You should. It's a great way to disconnect and appreciate nature. Count me in for the next wild adventure then. That's too many. Did you see the list of action items from the meeting? Yeah, I did. There are a lot of tasks to complete. That's too many. We might need to prioritize. Agreed. Some of them are more urgent than others. Exactly. Let's focus on the critical ones first. Sounds like a plan. I'll start working on those right away. Good idea. And if you need help, just let me know. Will do. Thanks. No problem. We're a team, after all. Definitely. Together, we can tackle anything. That's the spirit. Let's make sure we meet all the deadlines. Absolutely. We don't want to fall behind schedule. Agreed. Let's stay organized and efficient. I'm on it. We'll get it all done. Great. I have confidence in us. Keep on about. Continue talking or complaining about something. You know, I can't believe my boss. She just keeps on about that new project as if we don't have enough on our plates already. Oh, really? What's she keep on about now? It's this whole restructuring thing. She keeps on about streamlining processes and increasing efficiency, but it feels like she's just piling on more work for us. Ugh, that sounds frustrating. Have you tried talking to her about it? I did, but she just keeps on about how it's for the greater good of the company. I feel like I'm banging my head against the wall. I get it. It's tough when they keep on about these changes without considering the impact on the team. Maybe there's a way to make her see the challenges we're facing. I hope so. I can't keep on dealing with this added pressure. I'll call you when I leave. Hey, I'm heading out now. I'll call you when I leave. All right. Sounds good. Let me know once you're on your way. Will do.
I shouldn't be too long. No rush. I'll be ready whenever you get here. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Safe travels. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Take care. Break a leg, a phrase used to wish someone good luck, often in a theatrical context. Hey, I heard you have your big audition tomorrow. How are you feeling? Nervous, but excited. It's a huge opportunity. You're going to do great. Break a leg. Thanks. I hope so. I've been practicing non-stop. Your hard work will pay off. You're incredibly talented. I appreciate the vote of confidence. It means a lot. No problem. I'll be rooting for you every step of the way. That means the world to me. It's comforting to know I have your support. Of course. You've got this. Just go out there and give it your all. I will. I'm ready to seize this opportunity and make the most of it. That's the spirit. Break a leg tomorrow. And remember, I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Thank you. I'll make you proud. They're very busy. Have you tried reaching out to the IT department? Yes, but they're very busy at the moment. Oh, I see. I was hoping to get some assistance with my laptop. Maybe try again later in the day. They might have some availability then. All right, I'll give it a shot. Thanks for the heads up. No problem. They're usually swamped in the mornings. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Is there anything urgent you need help with? Not really. Just some minor issues with software updates. Okay. Well, let me know if you need any temporary workarounds. Will do. Thanks for offering. No problem. We all have those days where technology doesn't cooperate. True. It's part of the job. Thanks again. Anytime. Don't hesitate to ask if you need anything else. It's a mixed bag. How's your new job going? It's a mixed bag, to be honest. What do you mean? Well, the team is great, and I'm enjoying the work, but the commute is quite long. That sounds challenging. Anything else? Yeah, the workload can be overwhelming at times, but I'm learning a lot. I see. In the office environment? It's a mixed bag, too. Some days it's really busy and bustling, while other days it's quieter. That's normal in an office setting. Overall, I'd say it's a positive experience, but there are definitely some downsides. Well, as long as the positives outweigh the negatives, it's a good place to be. Absolutely. I'll adapt and make the most of it. That's the spirit. Keep focusing on the good aspects. And things will work out.
I have to face the music. In my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I ch- Hey, have you spoken to Sarah lately? Not since last week. I have to face the music and talk to her about a situation at work. Oh, is there a problem? Yeah, it's a delicate issue. I have to address a mistake that happened on our team. That doesn't sound easy. What's your plan? I'll be honest with her, take responsibility, and propose a plan to rectify it. It's the only way forward. That's a responsible approach. It's important to address such matters head on. It's never comfortable, but it's necessary. I can't avoid it any longer. I understand. Hopefully, it leads to a resolution and helps prevent future issues. That's the goal. It's a tough conversation but it's part of being a team leader. I admire your willingness to face the music and handle it professionally. Thanks. It's not always easy, but it's the right thing to do. That's not fair. Did you hear about the new policy the company just implemented? Yeah, I did. It seems like they're cutting down on benefits again. That's not fair. We work hard for this company. I know, right? It feels like they're always squeezing more out of us. Exactly. And now, this new policy is just adding insult to injury. I couldn't agree more. But what can we do about it? I'm not sure. But maybe we could voice our concerns to HR. Worth a shot. It's worth letting them know how we feel about these changes. Definitely. I'll draft up an email outlining our grievances. Good idea. The more voices we have, the better chance we have of being heard. Agreed. Let's hope they listen to us this time. Fingers crossed. But regardless, it's important that we speak up for ourselves. Absolutely. That's not fair. And we deserve better. I'll come back later. Hey, are you available to chat right now? Sorry, I'm in the middle of something. Can you come back later? Sure, no problem. I'll come back later. Thanks, I appreciate it. Just let me know when you're free. Will do. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, I'll be here whenever you're ready. Great. Talk to you later then. Sounds good. See you soon. Hey, I'm back. Are you available now? Actually, I'm still tied up with this task. Can you give me a bit more time? Of course, no rush. I'll check back in later. Thanks for understanding. I'll be sure to let you know when I'm free. All right, take your time. Talk to you later. Bye for now. Come across, find or encounter something or someone unexpectedly.
You won't believe what I came across while cleaning out the attic. What was it? An old box of letters from when we were in college. It was quite a trip down memory lane. That's amazing. I didn't even know those letters still existed. What else did you come across? Well, I also came across this antique book. It looks valuable. I might take it to an appraiser. Interesting find. You never know what you'll come across when sorting through old stuff. Exactly. It's like a treasure hunt up there. Have you come across anything unexpected lately? Funny you should ask. I was hiking last weekend and came across a hidden waterfall. It was breathtaking. That sounds like a magical discovery. I need to explore more. Maybe I'll come across something as enchanting. Definitely do. You never know what you might come across in the most unexpected places. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe we can plan a hike together sometime. It's a fine line. Have you been managing the team's budget for the upcoming quarter? Yes, I have. It's a fine line between allocating enough resources for growth and staying within our financial limits. I can imagine. Striking that balance can be tricky. How are you approaching it? Well, I've been closely analyzing past expenditures and identifying areas where we can cut costs without compromising productivity. That sounds like a prudent approach. What about investment in new projects? It's a fine line there too. We need to invest to expand, but we can't overextend ourselves. I'm prioritizing projects with the potential for the highest ROI. Good strategy. It's important to make every dollar count. Absolutely. It's all about optimizing our resources effectively. How about contingency planning? That's also on my radar. We need a safety net in case unexpected expenses arise. Well, it sounds like you've got a handle on it. Balancing the budget is a challenging task but it's crucial for the company's success. Thanks. I'll keep working on it to ensure we stay on the right side of that fine line. That's enough. Have you finished preparing the report for the meeting? Almost done. Just need to add a few more details. We don't have much time left. Can you speed it up? I'm doing my best here. It's a lot to cover. I understand, but we need to wrap it up soon. All right, I'll hurry. That's enough. We can finalize it as it is. Are you sure? I think it could use some more polishing. Trust me, it's fine. We don't want to delay the meeting any further. Okay then. I'll stop tweaking it. Good. Let's send it out to everyone now. Agreed. I'll distribute it right away. Perfect. Thanks for your effort on this. No problem. Happy to help. All right, let's move on to the next task. That's too much. Have you seen the new project requirements? 
Yeah, I just finished reviewing them. What do you think? Honestly, I think it's too much. The scope seems excessive. I see what you mean. We might need to revisit and streamline it. Agreed. We should focus on the essentials to ensure quality without overwhelming ourselves. Definitely. Let's discuss with the team and see if we can pare it down. Sounds like a plan. We need everyone's input to make sure we're on the right track. Absolutely. We can't afford to spread ourselves too thin. Exactly. It's better to do a few things well than to try to do everything poorly. Agreed. Let's prioritize and allocate our resources wisely. I'll schedule a meeting to brainstorm solutions and make necessary adjustments. Perfect. Thanks for taking the initiative. No problem. We need to ensure the success of this project. Absolutely. Let's work together to find the right balance. Agreed. We've got this. I have to catch my breath. Hey, how was your workout at the gym today? Intense. I pushed myself hard, and now I have to catch my breath. That's great to hear. Working up a sweat can be so invigorating. Yeah, it's a great way to start the day. Keeps me energized. Speaking of energy, how's your new job going? It's been busy, to say the least. I have to catch my breath after each day at the office. Sounds like you're really getting into it. Absolutely. The learning curve is steep, but I'm enjoying the challenge. That's the spirit. Keep up the hard work, and you'll make a significant impact in no time. Thanks. I'm giving it my all. I have to catch my breath, but it's worth it. Well, take a moment to relax when you can. It's important to find balance. I will. Thanks for the advice. Carry on. Continue doing something, often despite obstacles. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes, taking shots. I heard you had some setbacks on the project. How's it going? Yeah, we hit a few roadblocks, but we decided to carry on. Can't let a few challenges derail the whole thing. That's the spirit. What were the main issues? Well, we had some technical glitches that set us back a bit. But the team worked over time to fix them. Good to hear you're pushing through. How about the budget constraints? It's tight, but we're finding ways to cut costs without compromising quality. We had to make some adjustments, but we're still on track. It sounds like a tough situation, but I'm glad you guys are determined to carry on. Any support you need? Thanks. We could use some extra hands for the next phase. Do you have anyone in mind? I'll check with my network and see if there's anyone available. It's crucial to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. We can't afford any more delays. Let me know if you find someone suitable. Will do. Keep me posted on the progress, and we'll get through this. Look down on, have a low opinion of someone or something. Have you noticed how the new team member is treated in meetings? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Some of the senior members seem to look down on her. 
I've noticed that too. It's unfair. She's new, of course, but she's got some great ideas. I agree. It's like they look down on her because she doesn't have as much experience. And she's not the only one. I've seen them look down on interns as well. It's frustrating. It really is. Everyone should be given a fair chance, regardless of their position or experience. Exactly. I wish there was a way to address this issue and make them realize how damaging it can be for team morale. Maybe we should bring it up in the next team meeting. Address the importance of respecting everyone's input, regardless of their role. That's a good idea. Maybe if it's discussed openly, they'll become more aware of how they look down on certain team members. Let's give it a try. It's about time this issue is brought to light. All bark and no bite. Someone who talks tough but doesn't take action. Did you see Mike trying to intimidate everyone in the meeting today? Yeah, he was talking a big game as usual. Typical. All bark and no bite. Exactly. He loves to act tough, but when it comes down to it, he doesn't do much. It's like he's more interested in talking than actually getting things done. That's what I've noticed too. He's always full of empty threats. It's frustrating to deal with people like that. They create unnecessary tension without any real action. Tell me about it. It's hard to take him seriously when he's all talk. Agreed. I wish he would focus more on backing up his words with actions. Yeah, but I doubt that'll happen anytime soon. Well, let's just keep doing our work and not let his bluster distract us. Good plan. Actions speak louder than words, after all. Come down with, become ill with a specific illness or ailment. You look a bit under the weather. Are you okay? Not really. I think I might be coming down with something. I woke up with a sore throat and a headache. Oh no, that's not good. Did you eat something that didn't agree with you? I don't think so. I felt fine yesterday. I'm worried I might have come down with the flu or something. Have you been in contact with anyone who's been sick recently? Not that I know of, but you never know. I've been trying to take precautions, but it seems like I might have come down with whatever's going around. Maybe you should see a doctor if it persists. You don't want to let it linger if it's more than just a common cold. Yeah, you're right. I'll give it a day or two, and if I don't feel better, I'll come down to the clinic and get checked out. Good idea. Rest up and take care of yourself. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help while you're coming down with this bug. I have no hard feelings. Hey, I heard you got the promotion. Congratulations. Thanks, I appreciate it. I know we both applied for it, and I got the nod. Yeah, I was really hoping for it too, but I have no hard feelings. You deserve it. I know it was a tough decision for our manager. I hope we can still work together effectively. Absolutely. We've always had a good working relationship, and I have no hard feelings about this. That means a lot. Let's keep supporting each other and the team. 
Agreed. At the end of the day, it's about what's best for the company. That's the spirit. And hey, who knows what opportunities the future holds for both of us. True, you never know. I'm looking forward to seeing how we can excel in our respective roles. Me too. Thanks for being understanding. No problem. Let's move forward and make the most of it. Come along with, accompany someone or progress together. Hey, I'm going to the art gallery this afternoon. Want to come along with? Sure, I'd love to. I haven't been to an art gallery in ages. Great. I think you'll enjoy the current exhibition. It's quite impressive. Sounds interesting. By the way, have you asked if anyone else wants to come along with us? I mentioned it to a few friends, but they're busy today. It looks like it's just the two of us. No problem. I'm happy to come along just the same. It'll be a nice way to spend the afternoon. Absolutely. After the gallery, there's a new cafe nearby. We can grab some coffee and discuss the art. Perfect plan. I'm glad I decided to come along. It's been too long since we hung out. Agreed. It's always more enjoyable when friends come along to these things. Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know when you're ready to head to the gallery. Cost an arm and a leg, something is very expensive. Living life every day, late at night, not okay, all I want. Have you seen the prices for those luxury cars? Yeah, they cost an arm and a leg. It's crazy how expensive they've become. Tell me about it. You practically need to take out a loan to afford one. And the maintenance costs are through the roof too. Exactly. It's not just the upfront price, but all the additional expenses that add up. I guess you're paying for the brand name and prestige. That's part of it, for sure. But sometimes it feels like they're just gouging customers. I know what you mean. It's hard to justify spending so much money on a car. Especially when there are more affordable options that are just as reliable. Yeah, but some people are willing to pay the premium for the status symbol. True. To each their own, I guess. But for me, I'll stick to something more budget-friendly. Can't blame you there. Who needs to spend an arm and a leg for a car, right? Check out, inspect or investigate something or leave a place. Have you had a chance to check out the new coffee shop downtown? Not yet. Is it worth checking out? Absolutely. They have great coffee, and the ambience is fantastic. Plus, they have a cozy outdoor seating area. Sounds good. I'll make sure to check it out this weekend. Speaking of weekends, have you checked out the local farmer's market? It's open on Saturdays. I've heard about it but haven't had a chance to go. What's it like? It's vibrant, with lots of fresh produce, artisanal goods, and food trucks. It's a nice way to spend a Saturday morning. I'll definitely check it out. By the way, did you check out the latest report I sent over? Yes, I did. I wanted to discuss a few points with you. When are you available? Let's check in tomorrow morning. I have some time before our team meeting. Sounds good. We can check out those details then.
It's okay. Hey, I accidentally spilled some coffee on your shirt. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Accidents happen. It's just a shirt. Thanks for understanding. I'll try to be more careful next time. No problem. Don't worry about it. Also, I forgot to return the book I borrowed from you. I've had it for a while now. That's okay. Take your time. I wasn't in a hurry to read it anyway. I appreciate your patience. I'll make sure to return it soon. It's not a big deal, really. Whenever you can. Thanks, you're very forgiving. It's all right, we all have our forgetful moments. Well, I'll get that book back to you soon. And I promise to be more careful with my coffee. Sounds good, don't stress about it. I have my hands full. Hey, can you help me with this project? It's due tomorrow. Sorry, I can't right now. I have my hands full with this report for the boss. No worries, maybe later then. Yeah, definitely. Just give me a few hours to finish this up. Sure thing. By the way, do you have any plans for the weekend? I wish I could make plans, but I have my hands full with family visiting from out of town. Ah, uh, family gatherings can be busy. Tell me about it. It's a full house at my place. Well, after your family leaves, maybe we can catch up. That sounds good. I'll let you know when I have some free time. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. Thanks for understanding. They'll be right back. Have you seen the waitstaff around? No, I haven't. Maybe they're taking a break. I hope they're not understaffed again. Yeah, that would explain the delay. Well, we've been waiting for quite some time now. I'm sure they'll be right back. It's just a busy night. I guess so. I just hope our food doesn't get cold. Agreed. But let's give them a few more minutes before we flag someone down. Sounds reasonable. I'll keep an eye out for them. Thanks. I appreciate it. Look, there they are. They'll be right back. Finally, let's hope they have our order. I'm sure they do. Let's make the most of our meal. Agreed. Thanks for your patience. What's your name? Hi there, I don't think we've met before. What's your name? I'm nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm so. What do you do for a living? I work in marketing. How about you? I'm a software developer. 
Do you live around here? Yeah, I've been in this neighborhood for a few years now. How about you? I just moved here recently, still getting to know the area. Well, if you ever need any recommendations or have questions about the neighborhood, feel free to ask. Thanks, I appreciate that. So, what do you like to do for fun in your free time? I enjoy hiking and trying out new restaurants. How about you? I'm into photography and love exploring new coffee shops. Maybe we could grab a coffee sometime? Sounds good. I'd like that. Have a nice day. I have to head to a meeting now. I'll talk to you later. Sure, have a productive meeting? Thanks, I hope it goes well. Oh, and before I forget, did you get a chance to review the proposal I sent you? Yes, I did. It looks good overall, but I had a few suggestions. I'll email them to you shortly. Great, I appreciate your input. Let's discuss it in more detail when I'm back. Sounds like a plan. Have a nice day. You too. And thanks again for the feedback. Talk to you later. No problem. Happy to help. Have a nice day. A penny for your thoughts. A polite way to ask someone what they're thinking or feeling. Hey there, how's it going? Not bad, just lost in thought. Anything on your mind? Oh, nothing too serious. Just pondering some ideas. Ah, uh, gotcha. A penny for your thoughts. Ha, <laughs> sure. I was just thinking about this new project at work. Oh yeah, what's it about? It's a redesign of our website interface. I've been brainstorming some fresh concepts. Sounds intriguing. Do you have any specific ideas yet? Yeah, I'm leaning towards a minimalist approach with more user-friendly navigation. Nice. That could really enhance the user experience. That's the goal. But there are still some details to iron out. Well, I'm sure your creativity will shine through. Let me know if you need any help bouncing ideas around. Thanks. I appreciate it. Will do.